De hero everybody, my name is Level100MonkeyUp and I am bringing you another episode of Sphinx and the Cursed Mummy. In the last episode, we made it here to the Sunshine, uh, Temple on Sunshine Island in Heliopolis. And, uh, we need to go meet with our master Imhotep down here. So, let's just run right down here and see what he wants. Sphinx, it is good to see you again, my friend. You have faced many deadly dangers and challenges, and it is clear to me that you are no longer an, ex an, an inexperienced apprentice. Ah, I see that you now have the Shield of Osiris. What a lovely companion for the Blade of Osiris. Wielding these is a fine achievement indeed, for they will serve you. Blah, blah, blah. I'm going too fast. Horus has already been here, but he would not wait for you. His impatience equals to your enthusiasm. It seems that you've been busy on your voyage. That canopic base is a very interesting artifact. It has been many years since I have seen one like this, but I might still be able to release the soul that's trapped inside. I see a place far to the north, inside a castle in the land of Inferno. The land of Uruk. Aha! I see the pl Prince of Luxor. Tutankhamun. His body lies within the castle of Uruk. Once revived, he could be very useful. Nobody has managed to ever get into the castle. I have an ominous feeling about events there. No living thing can travel beyond the fierce protection of the castle. We will need to send a magical entity. This basket is perfect. Nobody will suspect a thing. By the power of Osiris, instill this basket with the illusion of life. Da, 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 na, na. We have a living possessed basket now. Yay! Back to this evil place. Don't worry, I'm not going to bite you. Hmm. You can't even talk. I'm really sorry, but I only had one canopic base for you. Allow me to introduce myself. I am Basket. I will tell you what I can, but we haven't much time. I doubt you remember the last thing that happened to you. The treason on your birthday. The bizarre unsettling ceremony performed on you by your brother. A hero sphinx interrupted the ceremony, but he was only able to recover one of the bases. This bestows upon you the element of life. But you're still pretty much dead. We'll need to find the rest of the canopic bases to return you to your normal form. You are now in the castle of Uruk. This isn't time to explain. Blah, blah, blah. Your only chance is to help us in the depths of this forsaken place. We must understand the significance of this evil castle and who is behind all this. We must also investigate the castle and search for any possible clues or objects that could assist us in making you something. Farewell, my friend. I will see you soon. His voice changed like three times in that segment. But first thing we want to do is save it because I don't know just there's a save statue might as well save it all right now that we saved it we're just gonna hop out here <coughs> excuse me and uh, see what's going on so we have a bit of a obstacle course we have to get through not too big of a deal pretty much go the same way every time for um, the mummy segments if you fall, there. Whoa! I just jumped like on the air there for a sec. Uh, if you fall, it's no big deal. You'll just uh, respawn at the entrance where you came out of from the dead bodies. This is the center of the castle. This is a laser that goes up into space forever I don't know why they would make it so easy for someone to just get out when they chose to or like if a magical pot brought them back to life 
Be sure that all the traps are working. I want no doubt in my mind that this castle is impenetrable. The Abodesian jewels must be protected. If so much as a rat tries to enter the castle, pulverize it. Of course, yeah. master. Taking advanced security measures, I see. So there are three different areas. One we can't go into yet because the eye is too fast. One has three eyes, and then this is the one that we have to go into because it's very slow and we can make it fast. Very simple. Alright. In we go. This is the first instance of a mummy puzzle. Um, now that Prince Tutankhamun has been mummified, he is inside the castle and there are a whole bunch of puzzles and rooms that we have to go through in order to get things back for Sphinx to use on his quest. Oh boy. That's not good. Told you. Don't worry, my friend. You are just as dead as me. The electricity can't harm you. In fact, you should try to use it to your advantage. However, if you want to avoid the electricity in the future, I can help. Just press X when you're near me. So this is what uh, the mummy can do. He can harness three different abilities. One being electricity, which we can use to power this. And da da, that turned that on. And how electricity made something appear in the center here, I have no idea. With the first stolen abito jewel. Uh oh. All right, I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go with Ow. Once again, Ow is in order. So we got the first stolen jewel, and we have an alert eye that can't really be avoided. You see a chest down there, but you might not want to go for that, because it's a trap. Let's get to the other side. Through here, we have a bit of an extensive puzzle type thing. We have to harness electricity once again. Zippity zap. And there's a little meter at the top that has it timed. We want to just head up this ladder really fast because there's an alert spider that we have to get rid of. Get an onyx scarab for that. Can I make it? I can probably make it. These platforms rise with the electricity. Let's see if I can make it past here. If you touch water, the electricity will go away. I don't... I'm, I'm, am I gonna make this? Oh! Oh! Barely. Oh boy. Oh no. No, 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 no. Oh! I was right here. So yeah, when the bar runs down... When the bar runs out, uh, you lose the ability. And if you touch water with electricity, it goes out as well. So... Gotta do this again. We were so close. Thought I could make it. Very careful. This water has weird registry. It's always a better idea to like try to avoid that second one. This time we should make it no problem. All right, that's one. And now there's another one on the other side that we still have to do. So once more, we have to get zapped and go on the other side. Alright. This one isn't as tricky as the- well, the other side wasn't that bad, just a few water geysers, but this is two spinning platforms, not a big deal. Gotta get the timing right for the jump. Eh, no issue. And then, zap. 
and that causes that to start moving so we can get across the other side. Awesome. Ooh. All right. The reason we had to get uh, the reason I got rid of that alert spider right away is so I didn't have to get zapped again and then go. Uh, it was just to save time, basically. All right, what do we have here? At the lunar planetarium key, the subjects look very similar to the one in the shrine in the central hall. Yay, we can get out now. Ooh. I was going to jump down, but since this is right here, I'm going to take this back. Save a little bit of time. And on the way back, the trap that was over here is actually a uh, quick way to get back. So... That chest is a fake, is when you get close to it, it becomes invisible, and the only reason it's there is to trick you to come down here, because... Wait for it... This happens! This is the mummy's second of th uh, three abilities. You can become really flat, and this was actually a better idea to wait till I came back, because we have to go back this way anyway. So this allows you to go through bars like that. And we actually have to open something over here. So, it was a bit of a time saver. Instead of having to get crushed and then walk all the way back. And then get shot back up and go back over. Bleedy blue. And we become fat again, I guess. <laughs> we got the exit key. Yeah, alright. <laughs> I always love his expressions. He's so cool. Now that we got the lunar planetarium key, we can take this one out. And that will deactivate being shot over to that area. And then we can put in the lunar key. Alright. Now we can get shot to a different area. Grab me. It's always like the snake is spitting you out. These little wooden triangles have um, onyx scarabs in them, and the way to get rid of them is by burning. How are we going to do that, you may ask? Well, you're about to find out. These lasers just activate different things. This is the mummy's third and fine no, form. Let's try that again. This is the mummy's third and final form. He can uh, get lit on fire. I'm gonna duck under this blue laser because we don't want our fire to go away. So yes, there are onyx scarabs in these. Gimme, gimme. Burn this down. We want to backtrack because there are some onyx scarabs in the starting room. And there's also some wood that needs to be burned down in the electric room where the sarcophagus is, which is why he was telling us that we could hide in him if we needed to. So more money. Money, money, money. Gotta be careful on this jump so we don't... Ooh! Get up. Get up. On a limited time, man, you don't have time to just lay around. I'm just gonna light all these before I go back and get them all. If I miss a few, I miss a few, oh well. Some all go into the water and it's not really worth it to get them. Gimme, give gimme, give gimme. Give Aww, that one just kind of vanished because it went into the center thing. I didn't know it did that. Oh boy. Oh boy. Oh boy. Go, 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 go. Oh, okay, I forgot. I forgot it fills it back up. Oh, but it runs out faster. Go, 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 go. Oh, alright. No problem. And that opens where the exit is. 
Probably could have did that on the way back. But, you know, what are you gonna do? Probably it would be better to do it on the way back. Hmm. I might have to rethink my, uh, rethink my strategy on that. I always thought it was just easier to come back right away, but... It's probably better to do it on the way back, because then you'd be able to get out right away instead of having to... Yeah, alright. Well, that changes how I'm gonna do this now. Well, in the future, whenever I decide to play this game again. Alrighty. So, got another little puzzle area down here. Get up. Oh no! No! Oh, it looks like I'm not getting those scarabs. I might be able to. So letting these cause those to come out. And you know what? Ah, oh, as soon as I get in here. Well. Need to activate this. That just allows us to get back up to the top. Once we need to. Let's move these so we don't have to worry about them in the future. Jumping on these will allow us to get over to this wood that is cover, uh, covering, guarding this lever over here. And we're going to need that. Oh, might need to move this one a little bit closer so I make the jump. Right there should be fine. Move this one. Is that good? Can I make that middle? Yeah, no. Can I make that? Let's test it. Oh, alright, yeah, that's fine. Looks far, but it's close enough. Alright. Pop on the bottle cap looking thing. And go get my fire. Oh boy. Thought I was gonna fall. Fall somewhere. Don't fall in the water. Get up. Oh boy. Ah! Okay. Glad I made it. I seriously didn't think I was going to. And this just spins this so we can get to the different sides when we have to. But before we do that, we're gonna have to move these off of these buttons so the platforms rise so we can actually get over here with the fire. Actually, one. And it's a two. Alright, so now we can get to both sides, no issue. Oh, there was fire down here. What did I Ugh. Well, I wasted a bit of time by going all the way back up instead of just using the fire that was down here to burn the wood that was by the lever. Duh. Why do we always forget that? For some reason. And... Well, I had to go over here to move it anyway. I don't think I could've made it in one shot. One more! All right. Time to burn once again. Oh, I thought I could make it. Oh. Alright, I gotta go back up to the top and go around to get whatever is in this box in the center. Come on. Alright, now we got some needle or spike dodging to do. Not that bad. 
Go, 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 go. The hitboxes on these are a bit strange. But I should be fine. Hopefully. Wait for it. Go. <sighs> Glad I made it. I was a bit nervous there. Don't fall. I would be very upset if you fall. Alright. And we have... The Earth Planetarium Key. Alright. And once again, it looks very similar to the one in the Central Hall. Oh! Alright. And my head is through the wall. Alright. That's, that's awesome. Up we go! Don't need to worry about this fire, so we're just gonna hop over the laser so we don't get it for no reason. More water, doesn't do anything. Take this. Which turns that off, and then we put in the new one we got. The Earth Key. Which activates the last way. Let's get out of here! Finally, use that exit key. <laughs> I love his expressions. See, got like so much emotion behind him. Ooh, what have we here? You found the wings of Ibis. My dog decided to enter the room. So if you hear him, I apologize. But now that we completed the mummy puzzle, the an, the amount of soul that we got in the first canopic base wears out, and for some reason we get teleported back here, even though there is no one around to teleport us. What have we here? It's one of the stolen jewels of Abidos. I knew something suspicious was going on. We must find out exactly what treachery is afoot. Ah, this is very interesting. The prince has managed to find the lost wings of Ibis within the castle. It's an ancient magical artifact that was stolen a long time ago. It gives the owner the ability of agility of a bird, enabling them to jump higher and longer distances. Keep basket with you now, as well as these items. I'm sure they will come in handy. If you had the Book of the Dead, you could send basket to Tutankhamun when you find a canopic base. I have a feeling that the book might be in the Cursed Palace somewhere, so perhaps you should go speak to Anubis. Horse already left to visit him, but I see your fate and his are distinguishing now. You got the wings of Ibis. This magical artifact sphinx can perform a second jump to reach greater heights and longer distances. Yay, double jump. This is by far the best power up in the game. And my dog is eating my room now. Lovely. Yeah, we can slam and double jump like an awesome badass. So, with that, I think we're going to save it. And along with saving it, we are going to leave uh, leave it off here and continue in the next episode. So, in the next episode, we are going to go speak to Anubis um, and uh, see what he exactly wants us to do.
and we're going to put this new double jump ability to the test. So until then, I'll see you guys in the next one.